Hello, my name is Joe Gosnell. I want to welcome you to the Remote Scan Enterprise ASP installation series videos. Uh, in this video, we will cover registering your Remote Scan server software on the scanning workstation. Uh, please take note of the Remote Scan icon down in the bottom right hand corner of your system tray. Go ahead and just right click on that and select register. Uh, notice the not registered to or expired statement at the top of the window. Uh, and you do have 13 days remaining. That means you can run the remote scan server without registering for 13 days. After that 13 days, it will expire and you will not be able to scan. So you will need to register your software. Go ahead and click on the drop down menu here. Uh, you might see more than one MAC address listed. If that's the case, you do have uh, a wireless or network card installed on your PC as well. Once you've selected the MAC address from the drop down menu, which is going to be the gigabit network card on this machine, which is the physical MAC address, go ahead and click the register get unlock key from web. And you'll get the success message as well as your unlock key. Notice that the unlock key is now in the unlock box down below. So go ahead and click OK. And note also that it says registered to now. So your, your server software on the scanning workstation is registered. So to finalize that, we're going to go ahead and click Save. Another way to register your remote scan server software is through your customer portal. You can do that by logging into www.remote-scan.com forward slash customer. I've already done that, so I'll pull that up. Uh, once you've entered your username and password, you'll see the remote scan portal page here. Uh, please take note of the links on the left hand side for the account management. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select the generate and unlock key. Uh, this page has a list of all the machines that are currently registered on your account. Uh, if you notice, we don't have anything listed on this account yet. Okay, if you get down to the bottom of the page here, you have the customer information or MAC address as well as the machine name. Uh, you want to put in the physical hardwired NIC card, uh, network card, MAC address that we had earlier. I'm going to go ahead and put mine in. Uh, please take note the alpha characters do have to be in all caps. Uh, you can also put in a machine name, which is optional. So I'll do that. Okay, once everything looks okay and has been verified, go ahead and click the generate a key. Okay, notice now that the new unlock key is listed above as well as your MAC address and the new machine name that you put in. Go ahead and highlight the new key, uh, right click and select copy or control C on your keyboard. And we're going to go ahead and right click on the remote scan icon again and select register. You're going to want to make sure that the, the network card that you selected with the MAC address you put in is selected. Then in the unlock key box, we're going to right click, select paste, or you can select control V on your keyboard to put in the, the new unlock key. Once that's all in, go ahead and hit the save button and that's going to close your remote scan icon. And just to verify that all looks good, you can right click, select the about or register screen and note that it does say registered to and give your email address. All right, that concludes our installation and registration series here. Uh, thank you so much for your time and have a great day.